you're watching a stream of matter racing through space at nearly the speed of light. It shoots out from the heart of a galaxy, from a place where time warps and even light seems to vanish. It's breathtaking, a glowing thread stretching across millions of light years. And yet, it comes from something that by every law of physics should emit nothing at all, a black hole. But wait, if black holes are meant to swallow everything, even light, then how can they possibly create these dazzling jets? Where are they coming from? This isn't just a fascinating detail. It's a full-blown paradox. One that has challenged physicists for decades. Because as strange as it sounds, the most astonishing thing about a black hole might not be what's hidden inside, but what happens right at the edge, like a final breath. But instead of fading into darkness, it erupts into light. And that light travels far. Welcome to Astral, where every question becomes a doorway into the deeper mysteries of the universe. Let's begin with something unexpected. Black holes. We usually think of them as cosmic monsters. Bottomless pits, endlessly hungry, cold, and absolute. They swallow light. They warp time. They tear apart the very fabric of space itself. But then, right in the center of that silence, the universe offers us something strange. Something astonishing. A brilliant jet of light, shooting outward across millions of light years, like a cosmic flare erupting from the heart of darkness. And here's the surprising part. These jets aren't rare. They're everywhere, especially near supermassive black holes. Those quiet giants hiding at the core of nearly every large galaxy. But there's a twist. These jets don't come from inside the black hole, not from the part where nothing can escape. Instead, they're launched from just outside, from the edge, the place where matter spins wildly into a glowing ring a structure we call the accretion disk. Here, gas and dust spiral inward. They're crushed, compressed. Friction heats them to temperatures of millions of degrees, and they shine brightly. But then, something wild happens. Some of that matter doesn't fall in. It gets flung outward, as if the universe is whispering. Not everything is lost, because around the black hole, there's no peace. There's no quiet. There's a storm. Gravity crashes into electromagnetism. Magnetic fields twist into violent spirals. And they grab hold of plasma, firing it into space at nearly the speed of light. It's one of the most intense and baffling phenomena in the cosmos. A place known as the point of no return somehow becomes the birthplace of the brightest jets in the universe. And here's what makes this even more incredible. That's just the beginning. Because next, we'll dive into a much smaller scale. We'll look at the wild behavior of stellar mass black holes, where things happen faster, hotter, and maybe, just maybe, close enough for us to see. Let's shift our focus to something much smaller but no less extraordinary, hidden in the constellation Aquila, over 11,000 light years from Earth, lies a black hole, tiny by cosmic standards, but astonishingly active. This isn't one of those supermassive giants that anchor galaxies. It's much smaller, just a few times the mass of our sun, and yet it has a remarkable talent every few days it fires massive jets of plasma into space, like a cosmic pulse engine. Its name is XTEJ 1859-226. This black hole lives in a binary system. It shares space with a companion star, and as the two orbit each other, the black hole slowly pulls matter from its partner. Like a quiet gravitational siphon, that stolen material spirals inward, it forms a chaotic, superheated disk of gas and dust, 
We call it an accretion disk. It glows intensely. It churns with violent energy. It's raw power on full display. But what makes this black hole truly fascinating isn't just that it produces jets. It's how it does it. These jets appear in cycles, roughly every three to four days. The system erupts. A stream of plasma bursts outward. Then, silence. And then it happens again and again, almost like it has a heartbeat. Scientists first noticed this strange rhythm back in the late the 1990s. Using radio and X-ray data, they found a curious pattern. Just before each jet appears, the X-ray signals from the system soften. The matter seems to hover right on the edge of the event horizon, as if the universe itself is taking a breath and then exhaling it in a violent surge of energy. But here's why this matters. Smaller black holes like X, TEJ1859 plus 226, they give us a rare gift. They let us watch an entire jet cycle in real time, not over millennia, but in days. With supermassive black holes, the same cycle could take thousands of years to complete. Tiny, nearby, yet packed with answers to one of the deepest mysteries in astrophysics. So now we ask, what really happens at that final edge, the point of no return? Let's imagine something almost impossible. You are a single grain of dust falling toward a black hole. You begin to spiral, each orbit tighter, faster, more intense, until you reach a boundary. Not a wall, not a surface, but a distance, an invisible line. It's called the ISCO, the innermost stable circular orbit. Outside this line, you can still survive, just like Earth orbits the sun. Stable, predictable, but once you cross it, there's no turning back. No matter what you are, light, plasma, even information itself, you will spiral into darkness forever. The ISCO is not just a mathematical detail. It's the, the edge where motion becomes collapse. It's the line where classical physics begins to fall apart and the strange rules of space-time begin to take over. Now picture this, a swirl of superheated plasma racing toward that line at nearly the speed of light. In this region, gravity is extreme. Time slows, space warps, and pressure builds to the breaking point. And then something incredible happens. According to research from Japan, just as matter plunges past the ISCO, its momentum collapses. But instead of being fully consumed, part of its energy bounces back it doesn't scatter randomly. It's focused, directed, guided by enormous magnetic fields. This energy shoots outward as a jet. It's like squeezing a water balloon. If you press hard enough, the water escapes, not from a leak, but from a launch point. This isn't a flaw in the system. It's a feature, a jet of matter wasted outward from just above the event horizon, from a place where time nearly freezes. And this leads to a haunting question. What exactly happens in that final moment when plasma reaches the edge of no return, but somehow erupts back into light? Let's pause right before the blast, because just before a jet erupts, the universe seems to hold its breath. From far away, everything looks still, quiet, almost unchanged. But if we zoom in right to the edge of the black hole, to where the accretion disk spins at full fury, you'll notice something subtle, something easy to miss, but deeply important. The X-rays, normally wild, chaotic, bursting with energy, begin to change. They shift. They soften, not in texture, but in power. 
The photons they release carry less energy. They become more stable, more even. It's as if the plasma itself has stopped thrashing and accepted what's about to come. This moment, this softening, is something astronomers have been watching for decades. It's a sign, a quiet warning. It means matter is falling fast toward the ISCO, the point of no return. And when that happens, the entire system reaches a critical threshold, a tipping point where gravity, magnetic fields, and plasma dynamics all collide. And sometimes, instead of collapsing inward into oblivion, the universe pushes back. A portion of the plasma, instead of being consumed, gets caught, swept up by towering magnetic field lines, and then it's launched outward, away from the disk. It becomes a focused beam, a radiant jet of energy, traveling across thousands of light years, almost stoppable. But here's the part that stirs something deeper. That jet you see, that radiant explosion, it's the aftermath of silence, a quiet transition, a nearly invisible shift that flips the engine of momentum. And maybe, just maybe, it hints at something larger. Could it be that in the universe, just like in life, the quietest moments are the ones right before something spectacular happens? Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. Because what happens around a small, short-lived black hole, one that flickers, pulses, and erupts in day, might actually be a miniature version of something far grander. Something galactic, just like the flicker of a candle can hint at the fusion in a star. XTEJ 1859 plus 226 gives us a glimpse into one of the most powerful engines in the universe. Quasars. They are the lighthouses of the cosmos. Massive beacons of energy blazing from the centers of distant galaxies each one powered by a supermassive black hole, each one so bright it can outshine the very galaxy it lives in. And their jets? They stretch across millions of light years. So here's the question that pulls everything together. Could the same jet launching process we see in a tiny black hole also be driving the jets and quasars? More and more, the answer appears to be yes. Sure, the timescales are different, what unfolds in just a few days around a stellar black hole could take millions of years in a quasar. But the steps, the signs, they're all there. The X-ray softening before the blast, the plunge toward the ISCO, the magnetic rebound that hurls plasma outward into space. It all feels eerily familiar. And that has led scientists to a thrilling idea. Stellar black holes tiny, nearby, fast, might be natural laboratories, places where we can watch in real time the same processes that shape galaxies playing out in miniature. It's like a cosmic fast forward, a way to study the past and future of the universe in a single rapid flicker of light. And if that's true, then understanding something as small as J1859 plus 226 might help us unlock the secrets of entire galaxies. How they formed, how they grew, and how they've transformed over billions of years. Because maybe, just maybe, the tiniest objects in the universe hold the keys to the biggest mysteries of all. Let's end where we began. We often think of black holes as the end of everything, where time stops, where light vanishes, where the universe folds in on itself. But inside that paradox, something astonishing appears. Light streaming out from the heart of darkness. These jets, they aren't just matter being thrown away. There's something else, something quieter, a final whisper, the last breath of energy, 
before it disappears forever. A message from the cosmos that softly says, this isn't the end, because sometimes a death becomes a beginning. And that idea, it doesn't just echo through the laws of physics, it echoes through us. Could it be that even in destruction, there's something more? That within the deepest collapse lies the seed of something luminous? From the depths of shadow, a single beam of light breaks free. No turning back. No chains pulling it home. Maybe, just maybe, that light is already on its way right now. After traveling for millions of years through the silence of space,